So I'm about eight or nine years old and my mom comes into the room. I just got home from school. This is in Fancomo at the Samo News. And she says, Gary, so we come, we're going to Jerome Gray's office. You're gonna take voice lessons. Didn't warn me, didn't ask me if I wanted to take voice lessons or if, if I wanted to be a singer. Very Samoan, you know, mode of uh, interaction with young children uh, during this uh, period in history. Um, just made a gong, said, this is what you're going to do. Come with me. So we get in the car. A few minutes later, I'm in an air-conditioned room with Jerome Gray, who I, of course, knew because it had been a few years at that point since he had blown up all over the radio station with that first album with Eleni and We Are Samoa. And so, you know, as a kid in Pango at that time, he was in the newspapers and, and you just knew who Jerome Gray was because he was singing at Soli and Mark's restaurant at the Rainmaker Hotel, which were the two sort of fancy primary, you know, music venues at the time in Pango, in American Samoa. So I take lessons. I go to my first lesson with, with uh, Jerome Gray. And, you know, I was very shy. I wasn't... Um, saying much, he was trying to coax me out. Very shy Samoan kid and uh, being respectful. The word in Samoan is makamuli. Um, makamuli He's very shy. And so he, he gets a few notes out of me and then he gives me some homework and says, you know, I want you to uh, learn Rainbow Connection and when you from the Muppet movie, when you come back, we're gonna, we're gonna sing that song. Or maybe it was it, it Ain't Easy Being Green. I forget, it was one of those Kermit songs. But he told me something that stuck with me uh, for years. I didn't realize it stuck with me. But he, he said, you're, when you're singing, you know, you're, you're singing, you know, your lips are too closed. You got to open up more. And it was years later when I was in Boston going to music school, when I was going to college at Berkeley College of Music. My voice teacher was always harping on lip shape and opening so that you can project more and, and, and allow the air and the sound to come out more. Right, so I just remember being in the room at Berkeley, you know, paying thousands of dollars to get this uh, instruction from a teacher uh, that I respected and basically getting the same advice that uh, Jerome Gray, the great Jerome Gray had given me as an eight or nine year old kid. And I thought, yeah, you know, man, you what he was talking about. So when they called and asked if I would take part in honoring the old man in this way, I just, of course, said yes right away. And uh, I'm just so honored and blessed and excited to be a part of the bill uh, this Saturday night, you know, alongside all the other super amazing and talented artists. And we're all there to really pay tribute and honor uh, Fatnana Jerome Gray in this small way uh, for all that he's done for us as people, as musicians, as Samoans, as Polynesians. You know, his music really was the first example of Polynesian Samoan artists that I knew that came from the rock, that came from Samoa, uh, that, that really took his level of songwriting and production to, to a different uh, level than we had typically seen before. So, uh, was such an instrumental and, you know, influential person and artist in that way. So I'm, I'm really excited to be paying tribute in this way. Uh, one of the songs that I'll be singing is an original that I got to write with uh, the old man uh, back when I lived in LA in Carson called Leula. It's being released the day before on all the major platforms. You can hear it playing in the background. And yeah, a lot of memories uh, bubbling up for me as I talk about this and, and remember. Thank you, Anna and Sisa and the boys for inviting me and for having me. Thank you for your service to all of us around the world who grew up listening to your music. We appreciate you. And uh, this is our humble little way of saying thank you. So I will see you all there. All right. Fa